Kate Moss, one of the most photographed women in the world, but how much do we really know about her? She's been a fixture of young British culture since the late 90s, but has rarely revealed more than her flesh to the press. It's helped Kate Moss become one of the most successful models of her time and a brand that's brought her millions. This fern is a little gem, and along with the Aeonium, we're actually saving some plants amongst all this destruction. Good stuff. From the outset, I realised that Frances was an unwilling hotelier. The B&B was there to pay for a lifestyle she loved. Her real passion was music. Rather than trying to change Frances to suit the business, the only way forward was to change the business to suit Frances. Steve, this is Georgie, and she is going to teach you all about... Kissing! Kissing. Ah! The thing is, this is not really what goes on at home very much at the moment, is it? Uh, no. How do I measure up to your cellmates? Ah, uh, you're, you're dangerous. I haven't tried any sex moves yet. What the fuck you mean, sex moves? Do, do I look like... Uh, brother. I, I, you know, you're saying you haven't even tried any sex moves yet. Joanne's picture-perfect garden is about to open for the very first time. It's pristine. There's not a leaf nor a flower out of place. It's ready to receive its first audience. I hope they're really going to pack themselves in here to enjoy this immaculate garden. And when you get inside, I can see why Daniel and Lynn were enchanted with this property. The inside is quite literally out of this world. Everything looks like you could be on a spaceship, and that includes small details like the kitchen tap, the kitchen appliances and the flat screen television. Very Buck Rogers. The path to true love never did run smoothly. But what if that path was covered in mud, down a dirt track, and infested with midgets? Take one lonely but handsome bachelor farmer, one superstar celebrity socialite, that's me, and ten dirty cows all competing to win this sexy farmer's heart. The four horsemen of the esophagus are here for you today! They will face each other in a pork pie eating contest to determine who has the biggest appetite, the strongest jaws, and the right to eat for Britain at the international hot dog contest. Coming up on Extreme Celebrity Summer of Madness, our top 10 of bad behavior includes a pop star whose midnight strolls have got him into a load of trouble, and rather than kind of skulking off and hiding and running away, comes straight up to our photographer and says, are you gay? And a cult icon whose bizarre behavior hides some dark demons. Luciano Pavarotti, Placido Domingo, and Jose Carreras are better known collectively as what? The three tenors. Correct, Leslie, pay you who? Pay me Graham. Scott. Beverly Callard plays Liz in which popular soap? Coronation Street. Correct, Scott. As they come around the final corner, Eric's still fighting it out at the front of the pack. But will he be first to the finish? Hollywood High School was the school to the stars. Built in 1905, it educated the creme de la creme of the movie world. 
Hollywood High is not only known for its famous students, but also for its ghostly goings on. The Myrtles Plantation was stretching my scepticism to breaking point. But the final day in our search for the spirit of Jane Mansfield would bring a seance that would stretch it even further. We've got three spirits going through. Picking up the actual seconds when she died. 